Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a different type of hair tutorial. Not only is this hair tutorial going to be easy and great for second or third day hair, but it's also a tutorial that you can do no matter what length your hair is. It will work whether you have a longer pixie like I do. You will need at least about two and a half, three inches here on top, but it will also work with if you have a chin length bob or a shoulder length or longer. This is something fun and easy that you can do to change up your hairstyle and just give you that little extra something on those days when you're not so much loving how your hair is looking. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. All right, so I am starting off with clean hair. So I'm gonna dirty it up a little bit here because this style definitely works better with a little grit in the hair. So I'm gonna start off with a little bit of Enjoy Dry Wax. This is one of my favorites. I have lots of tutorials using this wax and explaining how best to put it in your hair. But I'm gonna put this through. Now, if you have longer hair, you're gonna to wanna to just maybe add a little bit of texturizing spray or some hairspray. But again, if you're starting off with second or third day hair, you probably already have a little bit of grit in your hair already. Now my hair is getting super long right here in the crown portion of my hair and my color is growing out. So I feel like sometimes I don't get as much volume and lift that I want there, but I think today it's doing okay. But if you struggle with that yourself, you can use a little bit of the big powder play. They also have this for in a light version and this is great. I'll just show you. You can just sprinkle a little bit of it in your hair. I feel like there's a song that says that. Sprinkle goldness in your hair, right? <laughs> and you just rub it in and it instantly creates volume at the root of the hair. It's pretty amazing stuff. And a little goes a long way for sure. And I am going to go ahead and add a little bit of hairspray first. I'm not gonna overdo it, but add just a little bit. Okay, so yesterday when I did this hairstyle, it was later in the day and my volume, I had lost some volume, I had been out for a walk and the wind had blown my hair around and it was just kind of driving me crazy. So what I did is I just grabbed a section. So you can see my part is about right here and what I wanna do is actually grab a piece of hair that is a little bit higher than my part, not quite to the center of the hair, but a little higher. I'm going to divide that into, you could make this as thick or as thin as you want. And I'm going to start twisting. And as I twist, I'm going to add a little bit of hair. So kind of like French braiding, but just with two strands of hair. And I'm doing it this way rather than just grabbing the whole thing and twisting because I want it a little more secure and I want a little more definition here. So just keep twisting. And I'm gonna go down a little bit further on the side. And I'm kind of going backwards as well. And then back towards, I should say, back this direction, right? And when you are satisfied, I think that's about where I want it. I'm gonna take one of these really pretty, kind of almost like a bobby pin, but it has an X shape. They're super, super grippy. They're real tight and that's what you want. You want something, you can use a barrette or you could use a bobby pin and then put a decorative barrette over it. This is a great kind of all-in-one decorative barrette. Isn't that cute? All right, so this is half the look. All right, now we're gonna go this direction and I'm gonna start with this piece right here. Now, this, it helps that my highlighting is what it is. So this is going to kind of pick up a little bit of the twist because I'm gonna have some blonde and the dark, but I'm gonna start right where right there in the center, or well, it's off center, so it's not completely right in the center. And I'm gonna start twisting this direction. And I'm hoping, I'm doing this in my beauty room because I feel like the lighting is better here. Hopefully that is true. You can see more clearly what I'm doing. But again, 
just grabbing some hair behind and twisting as I go down the side. secure this side with a coordinating it doesn't have to be matching but if it's coordinating that is helpful I think for the look coordinating barrette or whatever you're using okay so now we have this I'm going to now you could go in with your regular freeze hairspray but I want something a little more flexible I'm going to use the sugar sense bubble gum hairspray if you've not heard me talk about this before I'll link that video below but this is a great like second day hair kind of re-energizer it adds a little bit of shine can heat protection it's kind of one of those all-in-one kind of sprays so I'm going to use this a little bit in the bangs and a little bit here so I'm going to first kind of style this and now I'm going to you can see now what I have it kind of looks like I'm wearing a headband right but it's just my hair so now you can have a little fun you can leave it tight like that if you want or you can loosen this up now be careful if your hair is shorter like mine you're not going to be able to go super loose without having some of the ends start to stick out. You can glue those down with hairspray or enjoy dry wax if you want, but I'm going to loosen this one up just a little bit. And this just kind of gives a little bit more texture, I think, it's just kind of fun. All right, now here's our finished look. And once I have highlights renewed or freshened up in my hair, I think it would really make this a little more apparent. But right now, I actually don't mind that it's all dark right there because it looks like I'm wearing kind of a black headband, but it's way more comfortable. And it's a way that you can customize how much hair is being held back, how far you go down. If you have longer hair, it's fallen forward, it's in your face, it's driving you crazy. This is a way that you can just tie back a section of your hair and you don't have to pull up the whole thing. So I just think this is a versatile look and you can make it look super dressy by what types of pins or barrettes you put in your hair. But I just think it's something fun. So I hope that you enjoyed this fun little twist on a hair tutorial. Check the description box down below for links to the products that I use today as well as the tutorial on the makeup look here. I am trying out the whole Beauty and the Beast collection from Sigma. So if you're interested in that, check below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.